Let me let me ask you one thing. What what did you think of Bill Cooper? Well, Bill Cooper was an alcoholic, and I didn't ever try to attack him. He got mad because the network put me on at night, and he thought, and I'd really, really never heard his show because I didn't listen to a lot of shortwave. I was busy, uh, but I'd seen his book. It was all about flying saucers, so I didn't finish it. Somebody had given it to me at Access TV, like in '96, and then he really started attacking me in '98 because he was an egomaniac, and you know, talking about flying saucers in the ocean and and aliens and all this stuff. And I've tried to never attack him, but people resurrected old tapes he edited of me and stuff, and. I just feel sorry for Bill, and he really let him set him up, and you know, ran out there and, and uh, you know, helped him kill him. And uh, it's just a big distraction, sir. I don't talk about flying saucers and all that stuff, man. I'm sorry. And uh, so, I mean, it's all like an ego thing, like it's two football teams and who's for who. I'm sorry for Bill, but anybody, I mean, he, he was a liar, though. You know, uh, one time I had him on the radio, and he was cussing, and I delayed him once, and I said, please don't cuss again. I delayed him again, and I said, okay, thank you, bye bye. Be some big whiz in this new world order. You're not. You're gonna. You're gonna be right up there on the on the scaffold, hanging with the rest of them. Well, sir, again, Mr. Cooper, have a good one, and uh, thanks. Uh, thanks for being with us this evening. Again, this is all. I guess it's not good news. It's not bad news. It is just the news. And I'll be trying to keep in touch with you. God bless. You too. Take care. That was Bill Cooper. You can tell I'm real tired. That guy has a lot to say. I got like three hours sleep last night. Good thing we have good guests like that. And I've got to go down and, uh... and, and... And then he went around saying he never cussed. The guy cussed on air. He cussed at everybody. He was yelling at the board op going, you effing little idiot. You know, I told you to call this number to effing have me on. And then he gets, and then he says that he didn't, you know, the guy, he was a pathetic drunk. Talk to me. All right, well, a little discussion. Good, punk. Hey, right. you have a good coward, day. piece of crap. <laughs> hey, coward! I'm gonna be in New York. You hear me, punk? Hey, hey, Alex. Alex, it's all right, man. You can calm down, dude. No, it's fuck okay. you, fuck you. No, it's this okay, is the yeah. real radio show, punk. And I don't like attacking people, but if you really want to know, that's it. Is that your answer? You like that answer? You know, yeah, sir. That's, uh, I, I believe. Yeah, I mean, I know you're putting out a lot of truth out there, and I'm not, but, but I'll tell you the best. Look, thing man, I heard some is, dead drunk. I want you to understand that this little series that we're doing uh, is nothing personal against Alex Jones or anybody else. But I happen to know for a fact, absolute fact, and listen to me very carefully, that people who practice this kind of broadcasting and claim to be an American patriot do nothing but discredit all of us eventually. This is one of the people who pulls faxes off the fax machine and reads them over the air. This is the one of people who indiscriminately reads Associated Press wire reports and ABC uh, wire reports and news releases and press releases without checking them out. Associated Press, UPI, especially ABC, uh, have been well known to plant fake, phony, and false stories. We've all discovered that over the years. Listen very carefully. This is, the, this, this is just snippets taken from the first 45 minutes of the Alex Jones show on the December the 31st, New Year's Eve. This is news. What I'm reporting here to you is hard news. This could have resulted in the shutdown of the whole country, the declaration of martial law, mass hysteria and panic by millions of people. And this is the guy, along with a few others, but this is the main guy. Who is, listen carefully. Cash machines are failing in uh, Britain and now other European countries. They're finding large amounts of explosives in France. Uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, who is known as Vladimir the Ruthless, and using all his profanity on national TV, you name it, we won't read the profanity here, uh, but we've got it. Uh, this person is on an unbelievable power trip and resembles a demon. He is a creature of the IMF and the World Bank and international communism. He is a former KGB head, and this information is vital, ladies and gentlemen. We are seeing the New World Order uh, really come out in full force. More wars than have been in the last 50 years are going on right now.
Is that true, folks? Is there, are there more wars going on right now than in the last 50 years? Are there hundreds of thousands of people dying right now in Chechnya? Listen to this. This man is just making it up right out of his head as he goes along. <laughs> 